<laughs> well, Nick, uh, nice to be back out tossing ball and doing drills and just doing practice stuff, I guess. Right? Yeah, it's great. I mean, after missing some practices last week and things and just watching and not being able to do the preseason game and just watching, it's really great to be back out with everybody and just throwing the ball again. And everybody's in good spirits and locked in for day one. That must have been tough. Not, not only was it, you know, everybody knows about the, the QB audition and stuff like that, and, but just a, a, a tough time to have to sit out being training camp. And, uh, I mean, you're coming off a pretty impressive showing from that preseason opener. Yeah, and one of the, I think, the toughest things about it was, you know, being here last year for the last handful of games and watching some games at home, not being able to get on the field, and then really looking forward to playing in front of the home crowd, you know, for the first time. Um, and then, you know, the injury happened and stuff. So unfortunately, that's going to be delayed for a couple of weeks. But uh, that, that was tough. And then just not being out there with the guys and being able to help guys out. And, um, you, know, who, you know, who knows if how we would have done on offense if I was on the field. And, uh, and if anybody, you know, could have made plays, that would have helped them make the team. So that was kind of the things that was in my mind. But, um, you know, all that's in the past now. We're moving forward and, you know, looking forward to having a great uh, start to our season this week and coming back and having a home opener later on. That's right. Yeah, here you are. This was the goal to begin with, uh, get a spot on this team and, uh, and just be here for, uh, for day one, which is right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, being able to work with the starters and everything, day one has been, um, you know, everything I've worked for this, this whole off season and, uh, you know, everything I was looking forward and um, working to accomplish during training camp and stuff. And, you know, we split a lot of reps of all through camp and rotating who was working with the A group, who was working with the B group. So to, to be able to really kind of build um, that camaraderie and the chemistry with the ones today and, you know, know who we got going into week one is, uh, is pretty cool. Did, do you feel you showed enough in your, what did you have, four series uh, in Winnipeg? Did, did, did that help your yeah. cause at least? Right? Um, I, I would imagine so, uh, you know, but... Um, that was the decision they made, so uh, I, I think it was enough to, to give them confidence in uh, you know, making a decision. But I think what a lot of people don't realize, and um, you know, just like fans and media, is uh, the preseason games don't you know, make or break your job. Um, you know, training camp is over 20 days of practicing, and the public really only sees, if it's televised, only sees two <laughs> performances um, and you know guys can make plays all camp and maybe they just don't get the ball thrown their way they don't get the opportunity in the game and so you know fans don't see them but the team and the coaches saw them making plays every day on the field so the, the, this is really where the jobs are won and lost during camp I guess the best news for you guys is uh, all four of you who were here for you know, the, the, the main part of training camp anyways are, are still here now at five if you count you know Beaudry was here found yeah himself a, a spot too oh yeah and, and everybody here can run the offense um, at any time and uh, everybody brings a, their own unique skill set to what they do with our offense and I'm sure guys saw that in the preseason you know it's the same offense same play calls but it looks different depending on who's in there and based on their strengths and everybody does a good job of operating within uh, you know what makes them good. Um, so it, it was really great just being here with everybody, and we have a great chemistry in the quarterback room too. So what, was anything sorted out with this QB competition over the last three weeks here? Uh, no, I mean, not, not until after preseason Yeah, it was over. It was uh, rotating evenly with ones and twos and threes um, all the way up until the walkthrough day before our last preseason game. Um, and I think even walkthrough, they, they were – it's rotating, so uh, yeah, I think it was a decision that was made after camp. But um, who knows? That's yeah, above uh, yeah, above me. <laughs> um, so off of what you were saying about training camp, and you're right. I mean, it's just it's two games. And starters don't play a lot. The way the game went, though, and Chris Jones after the game was not too happy about it. I mean, what do you make of the approach of? Oh, well, yeah, he knows. He knows as well like, who was out on the field, but just the style of the game, the way the game played out, and basically said, we can't do this. We can't do this in the regular season. So it was kind of a, was it kind of a learning lesson for everyone? Uh, yeah, I mean, having a performance like that uh, is tough mm -hmm. as just a competitor and a player, regardless of whether it's preseason, regular season. Um, you never want to put out on the field what, what we did especially in front of our home crowd. And uh, we have so many fans out there and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it just fuels the fire and for what we need to accomplish going here into the regular season. Um, and, you know, make sure that we're not complacent based off of our um, much better performance that we had in the first preseason game. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a learning lesson. 
uh, for us to be able to come off of a good performance and not be too high on our horse and be uh, still locked in and come back. You know, just because a, a great performance one week doesn't mean you're going to have a great performance the next week. You have to kind of repeat and, uh, and keep getting better and repeat the things that made you good and not, you know, rest on the fact that you did well uh, one time and think that's going to carry over the next week without the same kind of preparation. Well, everyone's excited about camp, but tell me about week one prep for the regular season. I mean, that's, that's what everybody was, was looking forward to, uh, to finally get into the flow of how practices are going to be scheduled, how the week's going to look, um, you know, knowing you know, kind of who's up, who's down, what the depth chart's looking like, and being able to have a set, you know, a set game plan of plays to you're looking forward to executing versus the defense. Um, that's, you know, it makes it easier for everybody, too, rather than you know, training camp, you're installing new things every single day. Stuff. Thank you very much. Right. I appreciate it.